What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Malik, coming to you with a video about facial hair. Um, I got this idea for a video because a couple of dudes hit me up and was asking, you know, how did I get my facial hair along so well? Um, I'm three years on teeth from back in March, so like three and a half years. Usually, I mean, I'm still lacking. Look, you know, in my opinion, like my mustache is really weak. Um, usually it takes like five years to grow a proper, to even start growing a proper mustache and beard. So, um, I'm a little bit further along, I guess. You know, um, some guys who are born male still don't have as much facial hair as me. So, I'm gonna be grateful for what I got. So, um, the first thing that I'll tell you like for advice if you you know want to see your facial hair start growing is minoxidil. I'm gonna suggest you can get any brand, store brand or whatever, but what I will suggest you get the foam. Right? So this is the foam. Five percent. Um this is the Target store brand. For a three month supply, I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. So, um, you just take off the top and skirt it in there, get up to a line, apply it all over, you know what I'm saying? And yo, know, this is not for your face. So, you know, test it out on a small area for a day or two to make sure you don't have any bad reactions to it. It's not pet safe. Like I mean, you'll see a lot of people will be like, "Oh, it's not safe for your pets." So of course, don't put it on your pets for one thing. And you, you when you apply it, it's you supposed to wait at least four hours. Then you can wash your face or whatever, and then play with your pets or whatever. But while it's on your face, don't like rub up against it's, it's I think it's specifically cats but just to be safe if you got pets you know just be careful um uh, some side effects are heart palpitations um because it's a, a bronchodilator like it dilates the blood vessels so uh, I think it was originally some type of blood pressure medicine so if you have that side effect I would say you probably should talk to a doctor. Um, I'll probably just continue using it, but I don't think it's it'll eventually hurt anything. Another one is it'll it makes your face, especially if you don't drink enough water, it'll make your face swell up like a little bit, a little, little, just a puffy look to it. So there's that. All right. Um, another thing, dermal rolling. A donor roller, 0.5 millimeter. Um, so you, you dermal roll your face once a week. After you dermal roll it, don't apply minoxidil until the next day. So it's like if you're applying the minoxidil twice a day, um, you could either skip both of those or maybe have the session earlier, like do the early one and then the afternoon just do the dermal roll and instead and then wait till the next day um because it, it's like little needles and it, it like pierces your skin just a little bit you shouldn't be bleeding or nothing my you might be a little bit below or whatever and it's it stimulates hair growth it also stimulates like um skin repair like if you got a lot of scar tissues and stuff like that i mean just youtube it thermal rolling you'll see people show you how to do it and and all that other great stuff. Uh, a good beard brush is good to have too. You know, you brush, you know, every once in a while to start to stimulate growth. Um, and a good beard oil. What I use is um, black Jamaican castor oil and emu oil mixed together. This is the black castor Jamaican oil. And Uzo oil. 
Um, I had I have used like uh, beard beast and other beard oil. So if you just want to get a pre-made beard oil, that's good too. It moisturizes your skin, especially because the the minoxidil dries you out a little bit. So so there's that. So between the, that regimen. Um, you should be like on your way to getting some type of decent gains of growth. Um, you see, all over here, it's gotten a lot thicker. So hopefully it'll continue to get thicker and get better. And hopefully somebody find this video useful. I have I have stopped shaving for the most part, at least to the skin. Um, now it's like when I want to get it to go lower, I just use a little, one of these little numbers, put the guard on it, and like, to get it even. But I don't shave it to the skin anymore because I, like, I, my video before, I'm prone to, um, razor bumps and ingrown hair. So, if you don't, if you don't shave it to the skin, you don't have to worry about that. So, if anything, I just put it low and uniform. And um, maybe like the high areas I might shave to the skin and that's it all right hope you guys found this video useful and see you later YouTube